Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well and welcome to my channel Math Coder. In this video, we'll be discussing how to find the next lexicographical permutation of a sequence. This lexicographical order is nothing but it's just a dictionary order. For example, in the dictionary, ABD will always come before ADB. It is just due to the fact that B is lesser than D. And it also doesn't matter if any other character comes along with the sequence. So size doesn't matter, but the arrangement of the character matters. So in this question, we will be given a pattern and then we have to find the next lexicographical pattern of that sequence. So this is the question guys, and now let's discuss the solution. So let's say we have been given a sequence like A, B, B, C, D. So the next pattern would be A, B, B, D, C just swapping these two letters. So if we have been given this pattern, then the next pattern would be A, B, C, B, D. So if you continue like producing the next next pattern, we will get all these patterns. So by fixing A as the first letter in the sequence, we will get 12 different patterns. But how to know that there can be only these many patterns produced when we fix this letter A? It's very simple. If you take these uh, four blocks, so this can be filled in four factorial ways. But in this case, we have two repeating characters. So we will divide it. So it is nothing but 24 divided by 2, which is 12. So there can be 12 different patterns formed when we fix the first character, which is A in this case. So now let's take a particular pattern and then try to produce the next permutation of that pattern. So let's take an example sequence, which is B, B, D, C, A. So the next pattern would be B, C, A, B, D. So it's very easy to produce it manually, but how do I record which would give us the next permutation? The basic idea is if we take something like A, B, D, the next combination will be A, D, B. It is just because this one would be higher than this one. There is a D is greater than B. In this in this sequence, it is just swapping these two letters. But it is not always about swapping particular two elements. For example, if we had been given something like this, then the next sequence would be A, C, B, D. So here, it's not about swapping these two elements. It's like changing the whole pattern. But even though even though there can be a, a pattern produced when we swap these two elements, and this is also a pattern which is greater than this one, but what we want is a pattern which is the smallest and the next permutation. That is, it should be ranked the lowest after the given sequence. What I'm saying is if you put uh, every every possibility in a dictionary, then this sequence that we are given would come first and then this would come second and then this is a possibility which is which will come sometime afterwards. So the general rule will be to scan from the last and if a character is greater than the previous character then we would think of performing some action on them. If we have been given something like this, so even if we swap these two elements, then it would result in a sequence which is lesser than the given one. So we will only swap or think about some process if the character is greater than the previous character. So if it is lesser than, then we would just skip the character. Now coming to D, D is greater than B. So now we can perform some action to convert this pattern into the next pattern. So now we are clear with the first step. Let us scan from the last and if that particular character is greater than the previous character, then perform action. So in this example, we will first check A. This A is not greater than C, so skip that. We will scan C. Here C is also not greater than D, so skip all, skip that one also. 
and then we will scan D. Here D is greater than B. So we will perform action now. Now it is clear that this B is the character which should be changed to the next character such that the pattern would result in a higher rank pattern. So if we carefully observe, we have to make changes to those characters which are present towards the right of this character and the characters to the left of it will remain unchanged. So our job is to find the character which is just greater than this B. In this case, it would be C. So now, if we somehow find this C, then our job is done. Now how to find this character? Actually, there are two methods. One is sorting and the other one is scanning from the last. So what I would do in scanning is, I would scan from this B to the end of the string. Now, I will sort from this B to the end of the string. So if I sort this, then I would get A, B, C, D. This would remain as it is, as we are scanning from the first index only. So we know that B is the character which should be replaced, right, from here. So B should be replaced with the next red character. So after sorting, we can observe that the C is the character which occurs just after this B. And this B is the one which, which is to be uh, replaced. So if we replace this C in the actual position of B, that is the first index, then this would result in the next pattern, that is the next permutation. Why? Because the characters after the C will always be sorted so as to give the least possible value. So if you take the original string and then just find the next letter character and then put it before the character which we want to be replaced, that is this B. We will get a we will get a sequence, but this is not the very next sequence because this A is occurring at the last and then B is occurring at the front. So with sorting, we can assure that the pattern uh, pattern that is produced will always be the next permutation. Now let's discuss the code for this sorting approach. Here we will be fed with an input which is of type string. As you may know in C++, there is a separate type for strings, which is string object. This is usually not referred as a data type, but it is actually a container class. If you want to know more about the container classes and the functions associated with that, like size, uh, begin, find, erase, I will attach the file in the cards or put a link in the description. Now let's trace the code. Here I will be initialized to size minus one, which is five minus one, four, this loop will run when the value of i is not equal to 0. So value of i is now 4, it will run. This uh, if condition will check whether the value at the index 4 is greater than the value at the index 3, which is a and, and c. So a is not greater than c, so it will skip the codes here. And then we will do i minus minus. So i will be 3 now, and then it will point to here. So we will check this, c, and then d. This also will not satisfy the conditions, so we will do i minus minus again. There is i will be 2 now. And then now we will check the condition. So the value at the index 2 will be d, and then the index 1 value will be b. So this condition satisfies as d is greater than b, so we will enter the loop. I mean, we will enter the if clause. Now we will assign the value which is stored in the i minus 1 position the variable c. So i is 2 here. So the i minus 1th index will carry the value of b. I will store it in the variable c. So now, we'll, now I will sort the array starting from i minus 1th index. So which is first uh, index. So I will sort from here to the end of the array or the string in this case. So I will sort and will get this pattern. Now what I will do is I will store the first occurrence of the value b in the variable c. So this r will find the position of this variable b from the rear end, that is from the last. Now a will have the value which is 2 because 2 is the index 
where the value of b is stored i am finding the uh, position that is the index from the last and not from the first because if you, if you find the index from the first it will give zero as the answer but we want this b which is to be replaced now after finding the value of a i will now update the value of c which is to be erased from the list and then should be placed in the original b's position now i will increment the value which is stored at a so that i get the index of the value which is to be replaced so now a will become 3 and then the value at the index 3 will be c which is to be erased and then replaced now i will erase one character starting from the index a which is 3 so i will erase one character starting from the index 3 which is this one so one character from third index will be erased now i will change the c into a string type because the function insert will take arguments in a string type and not as a character so yes will now contain the value which is c so now i will insert this value stored in in s in the i minus 1th position on at index so i is 2 so i minus 1 will be 1 so it will insert the character there is c in 1th index the beauty with this insert function is it will automatically adjust the remaining characters there is now the w will contain b c a b d which is the next permutation after inserting c the a b d char the characters a b d will automatically move by one position so now i will return the uh, string w here to the function call that's all this is the sorting method the second method is really simple the initial steps are same there is we will compare these two characters and if it is greater than this one then we will perform action as it is not then it will skip so a skip over here too so if we compare these two characters then this character is greater than b so we have to perform some action now what we will do now is we will again run a loop from here and then find which character is just greater than this b so here we will find the c is the character which is just greater than b now we will swap this b with this c so we will attain something like this now starting from the next position there is the next index we will reverse this whole pattern there is b c a b d that's all this is the next permutation both the methods are very similar in both methods we will first find the value which is to be replaced there is b in this case and also b in this method and then we will find the value which will replace that value so for this one you will run a loop from the last character and then see if that character is just greater than this b so we will run a we will run a loop from here in this method we will sort this array so that we will get a pattern like this and then the character that is just after this b will be the pattern which will replace that one and then we will swap c with the value which is to be replaced here this is also same there is after sorting we will take this c and then erase it from the list or the array and then insert it in the uh, original b is position there is one in this case so i will swap this one so b would come here so the question that you all will have in your mind is why to reverse the sequence after swapping this is because while scanning from the last this b would skip all those characters which are lesser than this so in this case it would skip a first and then go to c as it is smaller it has skipped this one so in the last sequence uh, that is the resulting sequence this a character should be to the left hand side of this b 
because it is lesser than that but if you now see this is to the right side so this b will always get spat to that position such that the characters to its right side are always lesser than that so if we reverse this sequence we will get the correct next permutation so this is the second method at last there is an edge case which you should be careful of say we have been given a sequence like cba so this is the last permutable value for this sequence so if we have been given something like this then we should return the least possible sequence that is a b c so just reverse this string and then return this one so if you go to the while loop if the i becomes zero so then it is for sure that that is the last permutable value and then it will come out of the while loop so we will reverse the string and then return w so that's it for this video guys i will attach both the codes in the description box if you like this video just give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon for further notifications also share the video with your friends and don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you and we'll meet in the next video.